Peace and blessings everyone. Welcome to the Humble Servant Homestead. Guys, this here is going to be part two of the kidney beans harvesting. Okay, so guys, here I have a tarp in my hand. And so what we're going to be doing, we're just going to be pretty much laying this tarp here out and go ahead and dump these beans on top of this tarp just to get them out of that tote so that way we can keep them from sweating, okay? So, let this tarp here out. Okay, guys. And so, right there, we got them dumped on our tarp. Now, what we're gonna be doing right now is, we are gonna be going through, pretty much take all the beans off of the, the, the stalk here, all right? And so we're just gonna go through and pull all these beans off. Now, of course, I'm not going to let you guys sit there and watch me pull all these beans. Uh, as you all can see, give you all an idea what it is that we're going to be doing. We're pretty much pulling the beans off. Okay. And like I said, remember, those right there, they are not going to waste. Those right there will be for the goats. And I know that they will enjoy them. Look at that there. Those are some real nice beans. Um, I don't I don't believe you can get those beans any fresher than that, guys. And like I said, I need you guys to go on outside and get in that dirt. Okay guys, and so as y'all can see here, just went ahead and got my son so he can be able to see what it, his dad used to do when he was little, when my uh, uncle or my granddad would come with the beans. Uh, that's what we would do. We'll go ahead and pretty much pull these beans here. Uh, what you waiting on? Get the pulley, son. You ain't gonna let me pull them all by myself, do you? No. Oh, I don't think so. Yes, guys. But, you know, hey, that's it right there. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to pull all these beans here, and we're going to bring you guys back, and once we go ahead and start shelling, we're going to shell those beans, and then once we're done, we're going to weigh them on up, and so see what we yield for this pea season, okay? And now that we have all these beans pulled off of the plant, so this is what we end up with here. We end up with a couple of baskets, real nice hefty loads of baskets here. Um, as y'all can see, I've already started shelling some. And so once I get through shelling all these peas here, what I am going to do, I'm going to weigh them up. So you guys can see how much peas we have harvested beans. or how much beans we have harvested. And quite a bit of these pods here that I'm opening up, some of them I'm getting five peas out of them. And that is real good. Okay. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do right now before those get to wilting inside of that uh, tote there. We are going to go ahead, I'm going to take you all on down so we can give these goats here these peas <laughs> and so we can see how they get into eating that stuff there. Alright, so let me go ahead and load it up. Let's take it on down. Go. Okay, guys. So we are here with these 
peas and as y'all can see I'm going to go ahead and dump it out but these beans right here they are very nutritious for these uh, goats here have quite a bit of uh, protein inside of it for them and you know overall it's just going to do real good for them so what I'm going to go ahead and do here I'm just going to go ahead and dump this on out for them so they can go ahead and eat all that beans there and as y'all can see they are going in at it but yes guys so nonetheless that is it there so what we're gonna do we're gonna head on back up now we are gonna go ahead and head back on up uh, get my sons and kids and let them go ahead and shell those beans out and once we shell those beans out like I said we're gonna be coming back weigh those beans up and see what the yield was that we got out of them so uh, stay tuned guys guys and so real quick I want to bring something to show y'all just real quick here and so as I was telling you guys that if it when your beans look like this and if it's starting to rain or whatnot you want to go and pull your beans from out of the out of your garden because what will happen that rain and that moisture this is what will happen right here it will cause cause your beans to go ahead and start sprouting and so I know I said that I was gonna go ahead and leave those one down there in the field to go ahead and dry in the Sun but um, I think I'm gonna go ahead from seeing this right here guys I am gonna go ahead on down there pull those out as well and hang them up inside of my shed to go ahead and dry instead of drying out there in the field because they are well fit enough to go ahead and pull them and so that is what I am going to go ahead and do to prevent this right here from happening because once it starts sprouting like this those beans won't be able to go ahead and be replanted because they already start going through the process of germination okay so I just want to show that to you guys real quick so what I'm going to go ahead and do I'm going to go ahead and get back into shelling these beans here and guys this is the first uh bin and as y'all can see i gotten nowhere as yet but as time goes on it will go down and go down um, i'm getting my kids them over here right now my wife is here and they are getting their chair and they're going to be going ahead and we're going to knock this thing out here as a family uh sit down and reason a little bit and you know just talk a little bit and maybe i don't know i might try to come up with some kind of joke or something like that to go ahead and you know bring a little bit of laughter and joy while we are sitting here shelling these beans all right okay so now we are done with shelling out all this peas here and as y'all can see we have a pan full all the way to the brim all right so what we're going to be doing right now to weigh these out because my little uh, kitchen scale only goes up to 11 pounds and I think with these beans right here we are way past 11 pounds guys but um, before I speak on it let's go ahead and see what it is that we have here as far as the weight now let me see if I can dump these out without making any mess All right, and guys just so you all know um, I did not shell all these beans out all by myself. It was a family, uh, family effort, okay? And so we got all these beans shelled right here. I want to say since we picked them this morning, it probably took us about what, about two, two, about two, two hours. It took us two hours of uh, shell out all those peas that you see in there. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get my little hanging scale here. Um, okay, you're not getting none of these beans. All right, so we got it on pounds. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and get it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let me go. Man, wow. Let me turn that on around. Look at what we have there, guys. Can you see that? Is that 10 pounds on the dot? That's 10 pounds on the dot. 
Wow. So uh, I guess I was wrong. Uh, the kitchen scale would have done it. Uh, so guys, look at that there. So now, one of the thing is 10 pounds of beans. Now, this beans right here didn't cost me nothing. Grew all this here in the back of my yard. And so guys, I want to motivate you guys out there to do the same. Get outside and get your beans because guess what? You cannot get these beans right here any fresher than that. But so I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you guys out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you guys out there.